Hi, welcome back all of you to the second session on this advanced shipping actually. So I go and share my screen. So we are in the third item. We are in the third item. So this is called serial generation at SOE sheet. So go there. So this is the third item actually. I go there. And then I will now create a series order for 10 quantities actually. So now go there and then create a series order for 10 quantities. So click on it. I have now closed so many tab regions actually and click on it. I will now go to the order management, manage orders. And then let me create a new sales order for 10 quantities for the third item actually. So we are now completed till now what? <clears throat> uh, one is what? High level reservation we are completed. And then one at inventory peak. Fine. One at, the third item is what? At the sales order ratio. Serial generation sales order ratio. Good place. You can go there. It's a P50. The third item on the advanced shipping. I will not go there. It's a P4903 is the item. I will again go for 10 quantities. So take on it. And then I will now go there and then provide the barrows over here. I will now go to the supply and then I will now provide the barrows. And then in my system, it is asking for the payment terms. So I'm giving it manually. But in vision, you may not require it often. It will all be there automatically. So talk to AR team. They will tell you about how to make the payment terms come automatically on this one. For your customer, it will all come automatically. So click on submit. So the 17th sales order is now getting submitted actually. The 17th sales order is now getting submitted. I will now go to actions and then switch to fulfillment view. I will be switching to fulfillment view. The 17th sales order. In the fulfillment lines, I will now click on the do number. So click on the do number. So this is the third item on this now. Fine. Click on the option. So in the previous case, when I launched the pick release, it was now getting what happens released to Varos because we need to what? Pick confirm manually. So in this case, there is no need to do pick confirmation manually. So it will go straight away to stage that too. There is no pick confirmation required during picking it. Too. So during picking, we don't need it. Only during ship confirmation, we need it. And was, while doing a picking, no need to give any serial numbers at all. We can randomly pick from finished goods stores and then bring it to the staging area. So in this place, we are not going there. You will now randomly pick from FGS and then bring it to the staging area. And then before you perform the ship confirmation and then keep it on the vehicle, at that time you have to give a serial number. So pick confirm will now pass cool and then it will now get staged actually. It will now get staged. So click on refresh now. You know, scheduled and then it is also reserved and then it will be getting to what? Awaiting shipping. <clears throat> no reserved. And then it will now progress to awaiting shipping. So once when the sales order progresses to awaiting shipping, it has been interfaced to shipping execution. You go there, right click and then duplicate. You're duplicating. So once you're duplicate, it will be coming over there. Go there. I will now go to the what? Inventory overview. I will now go to the shipping. <clears throat> it is the 17th sales order number. Fine, click on it. I will now drop down and then go to the shipments now. In the shipments, I will now go to the managed shipment lines. I will now query my 17th order. Now. I will now go on and query my 17th order. 17th order, I will now make it to the before, now fine, go to the before, and then make a search, now fine, click on search. It will now go directly into the action area, now. It will now go to the action area. Now, if you go on that, do it. there is no need to create our shipment number separately. Only for the previous case, we have to first of all give a cancel and then make a shipment number. Here, it is not required. The system will now create a shipment number automatically. You go to actions and then go to pick release. The pick release process itself will now create a system number. So it will be pick released as well as pick confirmed also. And then the detail will be progressing to what? Staged actually. Even though there is no serial number available on the inventory now. Inventory does not have any serial numbers. It will be going to staged actually. It is now going to stage. The shipment number is getting it. Now, if you try to confirm it, it will all get back ordered actually. Because we have to give serial numbers before ship confirmation. Actually. So if you click on it, and then without doing a serial number, if you try to do it, now find no stage, find the, click on ship confirmation. It will not fail actually because it is not meeting the inventory criteria actually. Find click on ship confirmation. It will not fail because what happens? It will not say how much is the ship quantity is blank actually. Find ship quantity is blank. So if you give it a blank, it will now, I think probably it will ask for the serial numbers for the quantities. So click on ship confirmation. We have to give the serial numbers for the quantities. What are you going to ship now? Find click on ship confirmation. Now see how it's coming. Find click on ship confirmation. 
So now see, it fails. What happens? It is now giving a warning. The ship confirmation as warnings or shipments on select. Do you want to continue? The selected ship confirmation option will unassign the shipment number. It is not going to unassign it because it doesn't meet the inventory controls at all. It is not satisfying the inventory controls. So as a punishment, the 7004 will be getting unassigned actually. It is not back ordering it, but it is now giving a penalty of what? It will now unassign the shipment number because it doesn't meet the inventory controls because we have to provide the serial numbers before you ship confirmation. So click on S now fine. It is not a warning actually. So it's just a warning. And then 7004 is gone. Go in the OA bochi. And click on S now. Because inventory controls are not satisfied. Do not satisfy inventory controls. Go back to the shipment number is lost actually. It is still in the stage mode. So what I do is I auto create a shipment. I auto create a shipment. So the shipment number is created. Now we are going to allocate the serial number. Select it. And then go to actions. And then here, what happens? We will now allocate the serial numbers. Where is it here? Auto create shipment. All these things are coming. I've forgotten it. <clears throat> so it is not here. We'll now go inside and then make a check on action. And the action is not coming. I will now click on the shipment number and then see the actions inside. Me. So go there. So I will now go to actions and then here, what happens? Sir? Record shipment cost review. Fine. Come on, where is it? And go there. So split line, submit back order, unpack back. All these things are coming, but we can very well do the what's called the serial number. I will not go there. Go to the inventory details. I click on the inventory details. I go to the inventory details. So here we have to manually allocate the serial numbers. So now I have already given Nana 101 to 110 to some other item. Can I give the same number over here now? Anybody? Let's say 201. Let's say. We give it. Will it give a problem? In another item also, I am having the serial number. It should give the problem. Though. It should give the problem is wrong. No. It should not give a problem. Why? Different. No. Because the item is different. Oh, oh it's item, item different. different. Yeah. The items different. are different. Yeah. Items are different means what? Serial numbers are normally unique within the item. Okay, got it. So serial number right, yeah. item. So it okay. will allow you to have the same number given to different items actually. So I have now given what this one now. So two not two not one two ten. Now if I give a ship confirmation, it will pass. It will not put a penalty. Previous case, what happened? The penalty has come, and so the shipment number was released, removed now, and then it was still on this stage. Now it will not ship confirm. So you are given it. So this item needs a serial number before you perform the ship confirm. In the previous case, you need the serial number before you do the pick confirmation. Now, you need the serial number before ship confirmation. Clear on this now? Anybody has got any doubts? Good. No, sir. Tell me. Tell me. No, no doubt, sir. It's no clear. doubt. Okay. Man. So, click on ship confirmation. I am not clicking on ship confirmation. Now, it will perform properly. So, now, what happens? It is not giving you problem on the inventory controls. is not coming now. It is only saying weight is not there, volume is not there. That is required only for transportation management. So you can ignore this warning. So previously, I also got a warning. And then in the last, it says what? It is now failing the inventory controls, actually. So click on this. It is not control. Now it is ship confirmed, actually. Go there. It is not ship, actually. So and then ASSA will done. Huh? What is 8004? 8004 is the shipment number, I think, probably. I don't know what is the number now. Fine. So the 8003 has to come. Now fine, it's not coming as 8004. I don't know what is it now. I click on search now. I click on search. Then see, it was here. It is now showing as 8003. Fine, there it was showing some 8004. Now fine, it's okay. Leave it. It doesn't matter. Oh. No ship. And then once when SSA gets completed, it will be getting interface. Now fine. Right click and then duplicate. We'll now wait for the SSA to get completed. SSA is responsible for interfacing your shipping execution into order entry. And go that one. We'll now go to what? Go to the monitor process and then wait for the SSA to complete. Now fine. So SSA. SSA is a master concurrent, not a master concurrent, it's a very important concurrent. It is equivalent to interface trip stop of EB sector. And sometimes it fails. If it fails, what happens? Run the master concurrent manage shipment interface manually with a minimal parameter. So this will now spawn the SSA and then that will now make it to succeed actually. Provided if there is a problem, you have to correct the problem. If there is no problem and then it has failed, then you can run it. If there is a problem, you have to correct the problem and then run the master concurrent. Got it now? Then it will now get interface to shipping interface. So now, once when the SSA gets completed, in this place, if you go there and then make a search, now fine, it will not say it is interfaced actually. It be interfaced. The state is no interface. So it is interfaced. Then what happens? You go to the manage orders and then have a look at it. It will be going to shipping. It will be saying shipped. And then finally, it will be getting 
pushed into what happens the ar area invoice is not started so once when the invoice started then it will not go to the awaiting billing actually so this completes the third item now fine third complex shipping actually advanced shipping now we will not go for the fourth one we'll now go for the fourth one so the one the fourth one is what inspection before dispatch so many electronic companies let us say i am not selling a laptop so before i dispatch the product i will not switch on the laptop and then see whether it is working or not properly so this is a famous case where many electronic companies will be doing a dispatch inspection before dispatch it so this was so here what happens i not done it so we have serial numbers starting on mod 101 to 200 is already available in the inventory so before i dispatch them what happens sir? i will not do it so such companies will now say do not select the serial numbers automatically on the organization parameter do not select it so if you make it as no then what happens we have to manually allocate which serial number is okay right this is the one we are doing so we will not say system select serial numbers but no in managed inventory organization serial numbers what happens it needs a manual selection where they have an inspection before dispatch i will not right click on the duplicate right now no, no, one question here so it's an item that is it's a, we set up serial at a generated sales at a issue yeah so we ship the item if customer returns that item so do we receive return the item, item yes we give the serial number okay in the receiving parameter there is a validates or lot numbers or this thing fine that, that means what happens we are validating it but i have never seen the serial number returns now fine you just make a check it will now give you the list of serial numbers which are going to be returned actually from that mm -hmm. they are chosen okay. returns is a normal process so now here what i am going to do is i will not go to the place fine click on it i will not go to the manage fine go to the setup and maintenance and then i will not go to the manage inventory or the task is what click on it i will not go to the what manage inventory or click on search now <clears throat> you know go there is the manage percentage fine inventory percentage or percentage so we are going to go to the manage inventory or <clears throat> so we go to the manage inventory or and then let me query my or and we will take so whichever company is having what inspection before dispatch what they do is they will not select and then click on it now so they will now go straight away to the second tab region fine so once when you go there in this place what happens they click on next now fine next and click on next so once when you click on the next you will now land up on the general area so they will now go to the lot lot serial number and tracking fine go there in this place what happens they will now say select system select serial numbers what known fine so if they make it as no it is what it is called inspection before dispatch it is applicable only for serial control and not for lot control not for uh, revision control not for located control for the other controls this is not applicable only for serial numbers what happens it will not allocate the remaining it will allocate it got it got us so select serial numbers will no 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 sir enabling this means uh, for any item if it is serial control it will not pick the serial numbers correct exactly for all serial oh. items what happens it is inspection before dispatch when you launch okay. the big list it will be releasing the warehouse only it will never go to stage at all but if it is a okay, lot control it will go to stage if it is a revision okay. control, it will go to stage but only for serial numbers it will be released to warehouse only okay no, sir. so click on save and close now fine only for serial numbers so some companies have got an inspection before dispatch they will be setting it up like that. So now let us now go there and then create a sales order for it. This is the fourth item which we are going to create. I click on the duplicate. So we are now creating a sales order for that next item. Fine. Click on the star icon. Fine. Effectively duplicate, duplicate, and then do now. Fine. So that what happens? Your work output will be very fast now. Thank you. So now, no, no, sir, is it is it equivalent to uh, assigning uh, assigning the serial number at shipment shipment level shipping no, shipping no. ship confirm level? No, it is not mm -hmm. assigning the serial number at the level. Fine. Before I what happens the pick, I have to say, let us say in this place, fine. I have got one not one is okay. When I switch on one not two, it is not working. So I will not allocate it. One not three is okay. One not four is not okay. So I will not see how many serial numbers are okay for pick confirmation actually. So if it is failing during my dispatch, fine. My in normal inspection process it has failed. Then I will not allocate that number at all. Okay. Okay. You will not perform a manual inspection before dispatch, and then during inspection, what happens is some of the monitors may fail. So those things will not be sent to the customers at all. Uh, so Nana, so just one follow-up question there. So if, if that option on the inventory parameters was yes, yes, uh, yes means one. what? It will allocate automatically. Now I made it as a no now. Now I have now given it as a no actually. It is not a yes. 
I think I've said this. No, no, no. I'm having a doubt. No, since you have asked this question, let me go there. No, 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 sir. Yeah, you have said it. No, no, yes. No, no, no. Okay, okay. No, okay. Is no P fifty. I go there. But it just means it will lock it. So the fourth item, fine, go there. So go there. Fine. P forty nine zero four. The one fine. Give it. I will not go for ten quantities. Ten quantities are much better. So the fourth item, I'm adding it up and go. So go to this place. I will not go to the warehouse. No, fine. Come supply. Let me give the warehouse. So it's a P fifty. Warehouse. I'm giving ten. I will not give the payment terms also. Is the ten quantities fine? Go there. So it will never be picked at all. It will never be picked. I will not give some payment terms. Thank you, sir. It will never be picked. So it will not ask for the inventory in charge to say which which ones are okay. No. <clears throat> so click on sir. So you know somebody can find it. Go there. I will not go to actions and then go to what switch to filter. You will not wait for it. No. So click on that here and then go there. So click on the hyperlink on the do number. It will not go to the next level. No, no wait for it. What schedule and result. Now this guy is now going to pick up ten numbers. No, you will not start to check from one not one only. Fine. This is what is you know going to start from one not one. So during checking, he found that. 104 is defective and then 106 is also defective. Now you have to tell me, he is going to split the entire line. Now. Fine, the 10 quantity is going to split. How many lines he will not split? How many lines he will not split? It has to be split now. He has to split. Three. Three. What are they? Three. What are uh, they? 104 is defective and then 106 is defective. Yes. Yeah. So 101 to 103, then 101 to 103 is 1, 1, then afterwards? 105. And 105 then is 1. One, one, so, no, and so then one from West has passed the test actually. Beautiful. From West Coast, he has correctly told. So he will be splitting it up to three lines, depending upon how many are defective. So since 104 and 106 are defective, are defective he will not split the line into three actually. He will not split the line into three. So it is not awaiting shipping fine. Go there, come on. I will not right click on the duplicate. I will not go to the where. So this time when I launch the pick release, it will invariably be what happens interface to one day or release to warehouse. I will not go there, click on it. I will not go to the inventory over, you know, fine. It will get invariably released to only warehouse. Click on it. I will not go to the shipments, no fine. Go to the manage shipment lines. It is the 18th sales order number. I think it is 18 now. Sales order is 18. Okay. Go there. So I will not query for the 18 now. And then I will not make it as before. No? Before. And then click on search. So once when I launch it, what happens? It will be getting released to warehouse because this item needs an inspection before dispatch. So since the item needs an inspection before dispatch, it will be released to warehouse. I'm go there. Save and close. Go to the place. So I'm go there. It's now ready to release only. It will be released to warehouse. If you make a search again, let us not make a search again. It will be released to warehouse. It will be released to warehouse. Now let me close this one. I will right click and then duplicate. No, no, no. So on the info let, what happens? It will not say one of them needs a peak confirmation. Actually, if you go to the place, fine, go to the, if you go to the inventory or your supply chain execution, then go to the inventory management. Fine. On the info let itself, will not say what happens. It needs one of them needs a peak confirmation. Actually, so we can even click on it or otherwise go via picks and then query for it. So info let itself is saying fine. This many is confirmed. Open fine. If you go there, if the one is one. I click on it. Only. So since he has found one not four and one not six is defective, he will now split the line into three now. The first activity is what? He will not split the line into three actually. <clears throat> so click on it. There's no opening of my peak confirmation form. You now click on the hyperlink on the peak slip. So once when you click on the hyperlink, fine, go there. Select everything. Action split line. Fine. We're going to split line. Split it into three lines. I will not split it into three lines. So in a new, fine. Two more lines. Any. So I split into new two more lines actually. Click on it. So totally it will come to three now. <clears throat> So two more lines are getting added. So those means no two. I'm not very sure about that. Two means what? Totally two or only two extra. I'm not very sure about it. Let us not make it. Change. 
only one. Two is quantity, sir. Uh, two is okay. okay. <laughs> Good. I will now again split for one more line. Now, fine. Uh, split into new one. Fine. It is not a quantity. Oh, quantity. Oh, God. So it is now asking me, oh God, quantity actually. Split it into two, Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is quantity. No, actually. It is a quantity. Split the new quantity. So, mm -hmm. so seven and two on one. Fine. So it is a quantity wise. Fine. Go there. So click on it and then give the quantity. Fine. So I now made a mistake actually. Fine. So in quantity wise, you have to split actually. Fine. It will be one not one to one not three. Three quantities. Then three one and then whatever six we had to click. Fine. For that case, you have to do it now. So whatever is coming, I am not doing it. Fine. So click on one now. Fine. One. I say. So which one is defective? I'm saying this. I'm going to say now. Fine. For okay. this seven to one, I'm going to say which is defective. Now, fine. So click on it. So I'm going to say one not one is okay. Fine. For the two. Fine. For the two. Then go there. So click on it. I will not drop down the thing other than say two. <clears throat> so two and three are defective. So what I'm going to do is fine. Click on search. Now fine. I'll not click on search. I will not allocate from four onwards. And four and five, I'm now allocating it. Four and five, I'm allocating it. And then for this, what happens? Seven quantities. So as per your the inspection, uh, re, re, what happens? Uh, your results, you will be splitting it actually. That is on a quantity basis. So up to one or seven, I will now say well, 110 onwards is okay. The remaining are all defective. Any doubts on this allocation? It is called inspection. Enter manually all the serial numbers at once. Because we are having the serial numbers already in the inventory. While we are creating the transaction, it needs a serial number actually. It needs a serial number because it is inspection before dispatch, and so whatever serial numbers are required. While you are receiving it either from manufacturing or from suppliers, the serial numbers are already available. The serial numbers of one not one to two hundred is available on the inventory. So on the available inventory only we are allocating whichever is okay, which is not okay. So, Nana, sir, as we said, uh, any independent of the serial generation, whether whether at uh, predefined dynamic entry at receipt or sales issue inventory pick, mm -hmm. if I enable that flag in the inventory org, it will land up here. It will land up here. Correct? Exactly. Yes, exactly. Okay. Whether the generation is going to be predefined or at receipt or whatever it is, fine. The serial number generation. So, once when you say allocate serial numbers, no, it will now land up on this page. Any other doubts for you? No, fine. This is called inspection before dispatching. Now, once yeah. you confirm it, it will now go to stage. Right? Nana, can you hear me? Tell me. Yeah, I mean, why we need to say, you know, one not one, one not one, one not one. No, why I mean, can't hear you properly. Can you again tell me, repeat? Because your voice is breaking, actually. Tell me, tell me. Okay. In EPS, we have an option to enter each serial number. Say, we have 10 quantities. Yeah, here so, also the same thing. Fine, each and every serial number. If you split into ten lines, every line can have a separate, separate one. One one quantity is split now. Fine, and then every one quantity can be a different, different serial numbers depending upon what you have inspected is okay. Since these two are contiguously okay, I now split only two. One not four, not five. Okay, I made two. But all the numbers are random. Fine, one and then uh, three, seven, uh, twenty-one like that. Then you have to split in ten different lines. No, we don't. Hello, your voice is breaking again. Please, all of you, please have a good broadband. Fine. Otherwise, what happens? We cannot clear your doubt. Fine. Your doubts, I cannot hear you at all. Fine. You must have a good broadband. Please do not work with a hotspot now. Fine. Hotspot is not good for a training actually. No, no, sir. What he is asking is against a single line here. Uh, EBS is saying EBS allows you to uh, enter different lots, having 10, ah, and you can yeah, go yeah. to a detailed page and you can enter. Yeah, yeah. that is a, I, it will not be I think that he happens in move order, right? Inside move yeah, order, no, I can everything go. Everything is same, actually. Fine. Uh, move orders or whatever it is, everything is same. Maybe certain functionalities of EBS might not have been uh, what happens exactly replicated over here. Now. So you have to only what happens, live with the available one. When EBS may be having more options, but here that much of options are not available. So whatever options is available, we have to only live with that actually. No other way. Good then fine. Any other doubts for anybody? Great. Fine. I will now give a confirmation of this. So this is the way what happens. You have to split depending upon your inspection results actually. And split it again, and then initially what happens is that quantity wise split actually. Confirm and close, then what happens? The line will be going to stage it. Then afterwards, ship confirm and then the remaining process are same. The line is vanished. Now, no, 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 go to the place. No, no, sir. One question that the left out serial numbers one not two, one not three. They have to repair it. They have to repair it. No, fine. They no. 
Now, will it be available for the next order? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. it will be available for the next order actually. Automatically. Again, what happens? Since it is an inspection, it will again go for what happens? A year to what happens? Allocate it manually actually. Okay. It will all be available for any order actually. The system is not stopping those numbers. One or two, let us say, is defective. It is not shipped now. And tomorrow, if a sales order comes, if you put one or two, only when it is okay, then only you will not put one or two. Otherwise, you will not put one or two at all. Yeah, it is a manual action. It is a manual action. If it is repaired, yeah, I can select it. Otherwise, yeah. Yeah, again, leave, leave it off. Yeah, yeah, it is a manual action only. If it is not repaired, you will not select it at all. Thank you. So, this is the fourth item is now complete. The fifth is a very complex one. And then we are going to go to the next one. Next one is a very complex one. And then there is a very famous process everywhere throughout the world, actually. The fifth one. So, this is called two variants. So, I have what happens? I have in my inventory 1000 quantities actually. So let me go on and create a sales. Customer wants 1,200 quantities. So let us now go on and create a sales order for 1,200 quantities. Actually. So go there, close it, close it. And go there, give it done now. Fine. For the fifth item, I'm going to create a new sales order. So click on done. I'm going to create a new sales order. Go there. So click on done. And then let us now create a new sales order. Click on create order. <coughs> you go there. It's the P50. Go there. I will now put the fifth item over here. P4905. So remember, inventory is having only 1,000 quantities on this. So, but customer wants 1,200. So 1,200, then give it add. So click on add. So go to add. So this is a famous scenario. Many times what happens, it will be happening. You have a lesser quantity, and then we don't have sufficient quantity, but customer wants it. But, mm -hmm. If customer wants it, we don't have any other government. I will not say P50, I have P50, 0, 1, I have to choose. Child 1, I am choosing. So 1 is in the it. The sales order will not get stuck on the workflow actually because we don't have sufficient quantity. Go down. I will not go to the payment terms. Choose the payment terms and then click on submit. So once when you submit, it will not get stuck on the workflow actually. <clears throat> so the sales order submitted. The 19th order is now ready for processing. Go to the actions and then go to switch to full view. You now have a look at how it's progressing on the workflow actually. In the fulfillment lines, all of them go there. So click on the hyperlink on the do number. It will now say it will be scheduled, but reservation will fit actually. So only when you have a physical stock, it can resolve. You can say, I have a purchase order for this. I have a work order for this. No, it's not possible at all. So only when you have a physical stock in inventory, it will now pass. Otherwise, it will not, it will not fit actually. So in such cases, what happens? We cannot say to the customer that what happens? I don't have a sufficient quantity. Why don't you come back after one week? He will not come back at all. He will not go to some other uh, people, and then he will not buy it. So, usko pakado, fine. Pakade ki hum dal denge usko under and was. So, if you click on it, what happens? It says the reservation is failed. So, we are unable to reserve it at all. So, we are unable to progress on this one. Fine, create inventory reservation. Fine, go there. You know, like a reservation was not created because the reserved quantity is greater than the available quantity. You are asking for 9,200, the available is only 1,000, so it's waiting. So in such cases, we will now bypass the reservation and then let us now interface it to shipping execution actually. Right? Hey, tumi karo usko, right? At the order entry level, I do not want to stop the workflow at all. So let us now create a custom, what happens a do now, fine. This is a do, it's called do order flow generic process. So now what I'm going to do is I will now create a custom workflow that will now bypass the reservation. Reservation I want to make it as what? Not applicable actually. So the custom reservation. So what I do is I will not give it a no. I will now create one custom do no. <clears throat> so click on it. I will now go there. Go to the setup and maintenance. And then I will go to the generic area of the task. No. I, click on it. I will now click on search. I will now land up on the generic area of the task. It's called manage. Right? Right? It is a process. Right? Orchestration. Definition. Something like that. Manage process orchestration definition. Ah, I'm not correct. Manage orchestration. <coughs> yeah. Manage orchestration process definition. The one. <coughs> that is the task name. So click on it. I go to the task. Let me query my existing task. D -O -O. <coughs> Let me go there and then make a search. Search for it. There are so many things that are coming. So the seeded ones. Fine. The seeded ones we cannot modify at all. If you click on it, what happens? We cannot modify at all. If you go to the edit mode, we cannot modify at all. The seeded ones are not eligible for modification. 
order flow and generic process, if you click on the edit mode, we cannot modify it all. So technical team will now teach you about how to create a do. Do creation is a very, very complex one. And then you must know ADF. If you don't know ADF, you cannot do anything wrong. So many things are coming. So this cannot be modified. At all. No modified. So go there. So if you, what happens, you go there. And then you go to actions. And then what happens, you go to generate process diagram. If you click on the generate process diagram, it, nothing is coming. Actually. Click on OK. Oh, yes, no problem. See, see, here we have three ways of doing it. Fine. One is what? Yeah, back to back one. One is a normal one, and one is a dropship. So after what happens after it is scheduled, it will not branch basic on the conditions actually. <laughs> Through one of the routes, <clears throat> then it will not fill. So the entire do can be customized actually. <laughs> if you are not satisfied with the standard do, we can entirely customize it. So for which you must have what was the knowledge of ADF. And then I have attached one uh, do customization of what? Introducing a past task in between note. You just see how complex it is. It is not at all easy. Fine. I will now do two simple customization for you and then show it to you. Fine. This has been done by my students actually. So they have done it. And then based upon which I'm doing it. But what happens? Uh, uh, real customization is really very, very difficult. Actually. So I will now customize the do only for two simple ones. I'll not show it to you. So give a cancel. So let me copy the order fulfillment generic process. I will not keep my cursor and then I will not duplicate it. I will not click on duplicate. Okay. So click on duplicate. I am not duplicating it. So I am not duplicating it. Fine. So I am not duplicating it. Fine. So once when I duplicate it, what happens? Uh, this has to begin with a custom name. Custom underscore the name which has to begin. So I am not duplicating it. So from the generic one. Fine. So I will not say copy off. I will not remove it. Now. Fine. So I will say custom do. It has to begin. Fine. It has to begin with the custom do. I will not say it is a no reservation. So no reservation. So the name has been changed. It has to become the custom tool. Otherwise, what happens? It will not even save it. I'll take off it and then put on the process display. Now. And then do not touch anything if you are not very clear upon this. It's a very complex one. And then load it. Simple things you modify. I will not go there. In the bottom, we will now have create reservation. In the create reservation, if you go there, you drag it, drag it, drag it. It is not saying create inventory reservation. I will not make delete inventory reservation. I will not drop it down. I will not change it to what? Delete uh, what happens? Cancel inventory reservation. So instead of creating it, I'm now canceling it. So now what happens in the workflow, the reservation will now become not applicable actually. That is the only change. In reality, what happens, you may have to go to the rule set now. On the right hand side, if you go there. So this is the place where you have to do a lot of things. Where the rule set here? There's some rule set and I think there. Okay, so big. So click on the rule. Fine. Give orders. So this is a very, very complex one. If you learn it, it will be great actually. So if you don't know, don't touch anything at all. So now, now only one change I made is what? Cancel reservation. Fine, give us save. Okay, click on save. I'm not saving it. Fine, my custom do no reservation is now saved. I'll again go and then make a check on this place, my friend, on the create reservation. And now go there and then see cancel reservation. reservation is coming. Go there, click on it. And now go to the top. Go to the top. Mm -hmm. No, what happens? I'm not going to validate. No, validate. So once when you validate, it will not check whether logically everything is okay or not. Whether uh, so syntax-wise everything is okay or not. It will not check the logics at all. Logics it will not check. It will not check the syntax. There is nothing. And then afterwards, what happens? I will not go there. I will not. What happens? You cannot generate the because it's not uh, doing anything. It will not generate the process again, but it will not vanish. No, go there. It will not wait for. Okay, it's not waiting for it. So there is no change on the one. Fine. Only thing is what in one of the places we are now made as a cancel reservation. Fine. It is not showing you clearly. You know. And also coming create reservation only. Right. Somewhere we are cancel it, but it is not showing you clearly. You know. Now what happens? You go there. So in the world alone, you can see. You know, if you know uh, ADF, you can even understand this not actually. So we know how to release it. So we have to release it and then deploy it. Right. Click on release first. We are going to release it. So we are going to release it to production. So we are now releasing it to production. Now, fine, <clears throat> so the status is new. Now, fine, that. You know, like, you know, process is not done. Now, fine, click on OK. Now, fine. It will be changed to release. So then afterwards, we had to deploy it. So once when you deploy it, only the username and password is required for deployment. Actually. It was initially new. There's no release. No fine. Go to the actions and then go to deploy. So you have to have the username and password for deploying. Username is coming. So you put the password over here. <clears throat> so put the password and click on deploy, by which what happens? It will be getting deployed. Actually. For deploying it, we need the username and password. So your new workflow for no reservation is now completed. So it is deployed. So 
what happens? You give a save and close by which whatever the deployment is going to be and come out of it. Or cancel, come out of it. Now, what happens? You go to the manage order date. So, you know, go to the manage percentage, order percentage, type percentage. So, go there, manage order date. <clears throat> go to the place, fine. Go there. In this place, fine. Uh, manage change order date. Fine. Go to manage order lookup, sir. Let's manage order lookup. So go to the manage order lookup. I will now create a new lookup for this. I will now go there. It's ora fine. Ora do fine. I will now say line percentage. Fine. So ora do line. I will now make a search. It is a line type actually. We are now going to create fine. This is the one. Fine. Ora do line type zero. Let me create a new one. Now. I want one. So go there. Ora do line type. Fine. So click on plus and then let me create a new one. Go there. I will now say it's a P50. Always put everything with your prefixes so that whatever you will understand what you have done. Fine. I will now say no reservation. The no reservation. I am now creating a line type actually. Okay, go ahead. And then sequence number I will now put as two. It will be displayed in the second only. Fine. This means this and then this description is this. Put the same one on. So we are now creating a new line type. It's called Ora do line types. So click on save and close. Now let us now go to what? Manage. You now go to manage percentage. Fine. Sales percentage. Fine. Order percentage. So we are now going to create a rule. So it's called manage process assignment rules for sales orders. Query on manage percentage, sales percentage, order percentage. You will not go to the manage process assignment rules for sales order. You will not go to the manage process assignment rules for sales order. Let us now create a new rule. Whenever a new rule, it has to be made active now, the green tick mark. So click on create rule. Whenever you are creating a rule, always in the field also, give a meaningful name and description now. And click on it. I will not say it's a P50, no reservation. And click on OK and find orders. So give it even name and then click on OK. And then in the field, what happens? Give a description also. And that is a good way of working now. Fine. Uh, this will find bypass reservation. So give a meaningful name so that people who are working on it will be having multiple rules so that by looking at it, they will understand what it is going to do actually. The name and then this description will now say what it is going, what it is going to do. And click on it. I will not go there. I will now say it is a line type. Actually. Line type. Now go the line line type go there and drop down it will now come as a list of values over here choose us now right no reservation i'm choosing so if on the line if i'm going to choose no reservation what i'm going to do i'm now going to set the process name actually so click on it. i will now click on it then i'm going to do now so we can even have if or and else if everything can be done so it can be even so complex actually then do go there so click on it i will now say process name Process name. So click on it. I will know what happens. They go there. Let me drop down and then do it. Now I'll click on it. I will know what happens. They go there. So here I will know how what custom do it has to come now. Fine. It is not coming here now. Fine. Custom do no is coming in now. Fine. So only this many there. Otherwise, what happens? There will be a search button which what happens? You do it. So I will now see custom do no reservation. I'm choosing it. This one I'm choosing it. So click on it. So the process gets changed actually. So whenever you're choosing this as the line take. The process will be running with this. This is not having any reservation at all. Got it now. So click on save and close. By which what happens? Your rule is now created. Now the rule is coming without a green tick. Now fine. Click on it. I'll now activate it. Go there. So let me activate it. Okay. Activate the rule. And then I will now give a start date also. And today's date, I will now give it now. Go there. Go there. So click on save and close by which a green will be coming. So now we have to publish it. So after having done so much of a major change, you log out and log in. It is the best activity. Whenever you make major changes, have a habit of what? Logging out and logging in. So click on it. Sign out and sign in. So in the meantime, whatever, I'll go there. I'll close all of the tab regions. I'll close all the tab regions. So click on confirm. I'll now sign in. Now, we don't want to stop booking actually. That is why what happens, we have bypassed the reservation. You click on it. You will now go to the manage orders. And then here, you are now going to go ahead also. And click on create order. Go to create order. So go there. It's a P50. <sighs> so P50 custom. Go there. Click on it. I will now put the item over here. Item is what? P4905 is the item. 
Now the customer is asking for 1,200 quantities. So once when the CSR put 1,200 quantities, it will not check whether we have a sufficient stock or not. So only for the GOP, it will not show you whether it is in stock or out of stock or inventory, low availability, everything will show. For a non-GOP items, it will not say no data to retrieve it. So 1,200 we don't have, but it will now definitely interface into shipping execution array to me they close. Fine. So order entry will be interface shipping. Thank you, Conrad. It will not stop you at the order entry level now. I go to the place. And then here I go to the supply. And then let me put my barrows. Fine. E to see the barrows. Let's see the child. So you go to this placement, go to the third tab digit, and then you will not put the phone number. And now if I submit it, it will now say reservation not applicable at all. I click on submit. Before which, what happens? I have to do it now. I have not changed the or you go there. I have not changed the line tape at all. I have to change the line tape now. So in this place, what happens? I have to change the line tape. So line tape, I have not changed it as what? No reservation. So I am not changing the line tape, no reservation, and then submitting it. So this will now bypass the reservation. The do itself will not get changed. It is no more a generic process. Now it will now run on my do actually. Not it now. It will not run on my do. So why before changing line type, it is failing uh, no data was retrieved? Because the, the, the generic do needs a reservation. The generic do needs a reservation. So we don't have a sufficient quantity. So it has got blocked at the stage. Oh. The order flow generic process needs a reservation. So that is okay. why we copied the order flow generic process into our own process. There we bypass, we cancel the reservation. Oh. Now with this line type, what happens? It will not pass. It will not say reservation not applicable for this workflow. So we can very well create our own workflow for any activity. It is fully customizable. Actually, you go to actions and then go to substitution. You go to the full plan lines. You go there. So you now go over. I will click on the hyperlink of it. Hyperlink of it. And go there. So click on refresh. So now you can see after the scheduling is completed, what happens? The reservation will now become as what? Not applicable actually. Reservation has started and then it is not applicable because the workflow is what? Custom to no reservation. It is no more a generic process at all. This is the workflow. So click on the operation command. You now see that reservation is not applicable and then it will now get interface to shipping execution. So while the CSR is booking, it will not check whether we have any sufficient quantity in inventory or not. It got it. The 20th order has been interface to shipping execution. Got it now. Fine. Now we go there. <coughs> we get the shipment on the When actions pick release is launched, fine with that. So upon booking, the custom do progresses to awaiting shipping. So I have now progressed it with the custom do now. Now create a shipment for the order. Let us now create a shipment for the order. <coughs> right click on the duplicate. <coughs> the first activity is what? I am now going to create a shipment for the order. <coughs> click on the inventory overview. Go there. I will now go to shipments now and click on the shipments. I will now go to the manage shipment lines. Let me query my order now. Find 20th order. So 20th is the order number. I will now make it as before and then click on search. We are searching for it. So one when I search for it. Let us now first of all create a shipment for the order. Fine. Give a cancel and then come to the main page. Let us now create a shipment for the order. Come to the main page. Cancel and come to the page. Auto create shipment. So now a shipment number is now created. Cancel and then come to the main page. And then from there, what happens? We are now creating a shipment number. The shipment number is now getting created. What happens? We are now going to order the shipment only. Why it's not coming? And make a search now. Make a search. It has to show me a shipment. Give a cancel. Oh, it is not done. Why it's not done? Select it. And then click on select the line and then click on auto grade shipment. I might not have selected it. Yeah. I have not selected the line actually. The line was not selected. No. So we are now completed what? Now, when I release, when I launch the pick release, it will now say the thousand quantity will get staged. The remaining two, we don't have any quantity at all that will be getting back ordered. Actually. And when you launch it, what happens? The line will get split into it. So click on the shipment line and then let me launch the pick release. 
So we are going to launch the pickles. I will not go to actions. I will not go to pickles. So the line will now get split into two. Now. One is what? Thousand will be staged, and then two hundred will be back ordered because we don't have any meeting at all. So go there. So give us save and close. So you can see the thousand is staged, and the two hundred is back ordered. But sales order will now remain intact. Now. There will not be any change at all. And if you go to the fulfillment lines, line, you are shipping, and click on refresh now. Click on refresh. And then you go to the fulfillment lines, the line will be intact. So only when a billable line comes in, what happens? It will be getting split. Otherwise, what happens? Nothing will happen to this. So nothing will happen. So it will only avoiding shipping only. Only whenever a bill billable line comes in, what happens? The line gets split on the uh, sales order. Otherwise, nothing will happen. On, this. on the sales order, nothing will happen. Come on, go ahead. <laughs> now the interesting scenario happens. So the carrier has arrived to carry the thousand. We have asked the carrier driver to what happens. So the shipment person found a dent in the corner of a carrier. There is a small dent, and it is not fit to carry the entire thousand quantity at all. Right? The entire quantity cannot be kept. The driver assures to send another small vehicle immediately to carry at least seventy five quantities. So he says that only nine hundred you are able to keep it in the vehicle actually. For the remaining hundred, he says that sir, I will not send a tempo to you. The tempo will now carry only seventy five quantities. Right? So this is the thing which is happening on the field actually, on the staging area. So before I perform a ship confirmation, what I'm going to do is I will now say ship to quantity is going to nine hundred, and then what happens? Back ordered quantity is going to be twenty five. I'm going to make it now. So once when I make it like this, what happens? The line of thousand will now get split into three lines: one for nine hundred, one for twenty five as back ordered, and then another seventy five as what staged. That means what from the original consignment of thousand. The people will now remove hundred quantities, and then out of hundred quantities, they will now pack seventy-five, and then keep it in the same staging area. So now staging will have what what items? Anybody can tell me. Staging will have what? Items. So out of thousand in the staging area, while you do the launch pick release, what happens? It will now get launched. Right? Nine hundred will be what happens? Staged actually, and then twenty-five will be back ordered, and then another seventy-five is repacked and then kept in the staging area. So there will be three lines. Once when you launch the pickle list, fine. You're going to do it, and then there will be three lines: one for 900, one for 25, and then one for 75 is what staged. Go there. So on the thousand one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go there. I will now click on the hyperlink on the shipment. Click on the hyperlink on the shipment. It is already staged actually. Fine. Click on the hyperlink on the shipment. You go down and then mention what in the bottom. I'm going to mention it. I will now say shipped quantity is 900. And then back ordered quantity is twenty five now. Right. Back ordered quantity will be twenty five. Back ordered. Shipped quantity is the one. So go there, go there. So I'll now say back ordered quantity is not hundred. It is twenty five. So the line will now get split into three as what nine hundred as stage, twenty five as back ordered, and then the remaining seventy five are repacked and then kept on the staging. Staging has got three lines: one for nine hundred, one for twenty five, and then one for seventy five. Is it clear? So the famous no, no, sir. Why did you back order twenty five? Because vehicle which this guy is saying he is now assuring that he will not send a small tempo. That oh, tempo okay, okay. will now carry only seventy five. That is what only seventy five. Okay, got it. Yeah. So because of it, twenty five I am back ordering. Got it. Now fine. Twenty five I am back ordering. Because he is saying I can that vehicle, small vehicle is going to come will now carry only seventy five. This is a very famous scenario in the shipping area. So you know put it. So click on what ship confirmation. Upon ship confirmation. What happens? Nine hundred will be done. Fine. The ship confirmation request is warning. Fine. So click on it. <clears throat> so if you go and then make a search, no fine. Click on it. Go there. Click on search, no fine. So we have what? This many are available, no fine. Thousand is available. Go there. It's back ordered. Go there. Click on it. I will not make a what. So click on search again, no fine. Click on search. Why is not going, no fine? It is interfaced. What happened? The entire thousand quantity is got interfaced actually. I have given twenty five, na. It is not. No, no, sir. Might be your ship confirm rule says. Uh... Okay, okay. I'm going to sort of look at it now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there is a problem on the ship confirmation rule because of which what happened? There has happened now. Fine, go there. So let me go there and then have a look at my ship confirmation rule. Fine, go there. No, what happened? The duplicated. So my ship confirmation rule has been modified actually. I made a mistake. I couldn't do it. So let me go there. Go to the setup and maintenance. <clears throat> I have to modify my ship confirmation rule. You go there. Click on search. No fine. Let me modify my ship confirmation rules. Fine. Manage percentage. Fine. Ship percentage. Fine. Confirm percentage. Manage ship confirmation rules. So go there. I will not query my P fifty ship confirmation rules. Go there. 
So what I say is you ship with the requested quantities. Fine. So whatever is available, you do it now. Fine. It is not the option. Fine. It is, they will not choose this now. Fine. Ship quantities. If you say 900, it will only ship now. Ship the requested quantities. Fine. Go there. And then what happens? Option if ship quantities are not manually entered. Fine. Ship only the requested quantities. Fine. Go there. So create. So a it's it's order. not ship the ship quantity. I think it ship uh, the yeah. entire requested quantity. It must be what happens. It is not requested quantities. It must be. What happens ship, ship quantity, quantity and you have to mention what uh, what for other quantities yeah yeah options if shipped quantities are not manually entered son what happens you stage it actually that 75 quantities will be staged actually it should not be ship correct quantities it must be staged fine the manual entered fine and then create a shipment also for this fine if we don't create a shipment we have to manually create a shipment i'm not choosing it up another i will now close shipment is okay another so close shipment other will be doing it so here it will know the 75 quantities will be staged, but there will not be any shipment number created actually. Any doubts on this now? So the 75 quantities which you are entering in, what happens? Rather, it is not going to be done. So that will be staged actually. And you can even send it to cycle counting or even back ordering. I'm not staging it, but no shipment number created. So I have no modified it now. It is not done. So it's all done. Keep on done. So now what I'm going to do is let me, what happens first of all, since I made some major modification, let me log out and log in. And sometimes if it doesn't work, what happens? You make a log out and log in. So click on confirm. So click on time. So let me make a repeat order of this now. Thank you, Monitor. I will now make a repeat order of this. So you go to this place. I will now go to the manage orders. I will now manage orders. I will now repeat the order. And go to the advanced now. I click on advanced. And then in the advanced, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a search. Mm -hmm. So go there. So order number starts with 20. Yeah, what about the online quantity? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what about the quality interface is gone now? Fine, I will have to have one and all. One and we have to keep it in mind. Uh, well. So click on it. So I will not go to the action. So then what happens? I have to do what duplicate the order now. Fine. I have to open it up and the duplicate now. I thought that I can do it from manage orders. So there is no option here now. Fine. There is no open up the order and duplicate it. I will open up and go to the actions and then here, what happens? I will know how to duplicate it here. Fine, I've forgotten it actually. Copy, copy. Sir. Copy, copy. Yeah, copy. yeah, copy. Copy is a duplicate. Fine, click on copy. Actions copy is duplicate now. Go there. If you want to do anything, what happens? You can do it now. Fine, or else what happens? You click on create and enter. So a new order is now getting created. New order is getting created. So a new order is getting created. Fine, with a new ship confirmation rule. Fine, what else? Fine, go there. So everything is there on place now. Fine, go there. So two variants, fine, go there. So it is already, what happens, it has already been copied and then kept over, you know, fine, because of which what happens is not coming. So let us not make it manually, you know, fine. I do not want to have this one. I don't want, because it is already done as a two line. So two line is not getting copied, you know, So I will not make a new order, you know, fine. Manually, I will not make an order. So click on create order. So we are not manually getting order, fine, go there. So I will not go there. So T, fine, copy, I can duplicate it. Click on it. So let me make it manually. It is a P50, fine, 05, P4905, fine. P Forty-nine zero five is the one thing you attend. So go there. Thousand two hundred quantities. So click on add. <clears throat> you go to this place. I will not pull the barrels over here. Thank you, Go to the supply. And then I will not pull the barrels. Okay. So P fifty, child one. Go there. Go down. And then in this place, I will go there. I will not put the payment terms. And then in the main place, what happens? I will not put my line tape. We go to this place, fine. So let us not have this line date. Fine. Is that no reservation? And then let us not submit it. So submit it. So we must have sufficient quantities also fine because because already the quantity has already been what happens the shipped actually in the previous one. You can't submit. You are not getting submitted. So go there. I will not go there. It is a twenty one is the order number. Twenty two now fine. Is a twenty two. So right click and then duplicate now. <coughs> I will not go on and have a look at the inventory now. Fine. Fine. I will not click on it. Let us not go on and have a look at the inventory. If I click on the inventory overview. <coughs> so click on it. And then here, what I do is, <coughs> I will not go to the what manage item quantities. <coughs> Let us not have a look at the quantities. It's a P4905. Fine, and then click on search. Mm -hmm. Fine, go there. So there is no quantity at all here. So let us know right click and then duplicate and then we'll not have a what happens here is still not that quantity. We'll not receive it now. Fine. We'll not receive 100 quantities, thousand quantities. We'll click on it. We'll not go there. So we'll not create miscellaneous transaction for this one. It's a P51 is the one. Click 
clear from okay we are not making a manual reservation for them mihc we are not making a manual population of the reserve in the indian reserve go there drop it down and then make a search now and then choose the 1110 cash account there is the offset account and the account i don't go there click on yes no i don't know popular mate i'm going to keep thousand so go there is the p 4905 is the one i will not keep thousand quantities in the fgs no fgs thousand quantities i'm going to keep it so since the supplies have got changed what you do is you normally run one task actually and then that will not update in the planning at i will not go to the place i will not go to the monitor process and then will not run one task that will not update the update the supply actually so click on point it's called real time update actually uh, i know forgot on the full name actually the real person at time person age fine and then give it a real time update start real time update so once you do it what happens uh, the change on the stock will be getting reflected in the planning area that will be getting automatically reflected. so click on no the the order management will now send the new stock of thousand actually now let us now go to the shipping area and then query this no is it the vena error it doesn't matter fine now what they say is that this is no more required from 23a so one of my student told me that this is no more required the stock which is now updated will now get immediately reflected on the planning that's what he told me and no need to run this at all this is what he told me so you try it fine it the ended doesn't matter fine they made a bypass this total concurrent action no more required actually so so many things are happening now and then no fine what are doing so go the right click on the duplicate let us now do the pick confirmation for 22 no thank you you know go there so i will now click on the stock i will now go to what manage orders i will now go to the inventory overview i will now go to the shipment and then query the 22 order so go to the place go to the shipment now fine click on it i will now go to the shipment lines the order number is what 22 no fine the 22 is not the one now fine click on close now this is the one now fine so if you go to the actions and then go to switch to fulfillment view you can now see the order number clearly now fine so order number is what if you go to the fulfillment lines and then click on it You will have got interface to shipping execution. Fine, go that command. I will now click on the line number. I will now see whether there is no got interface to shipping execution. Fine, there is no more problem. Click on that. Twenty two is the order number. You will now go there. Click on it and then query for twenty two. Fine, twenty two and then make it as before and then make a search. So first thing is what we will now get the shipment number. Fine, give a cancel and then come to the main line. Fine, cancel. They come to the main area. Fine, go that. So you will now select the line and then you will now order the shipment. You will order the shipment. So eight thousand five hundred shipment number. I will now go there and then launch the pick release for it now. Fine, it will now get split into two. Fine, go there. So go to actions and then go to pick release. It will be getting split into thousand and two hundred. Two hundred is back out actually. So go there, click on it, save and close. Now that so go there and then make a search now. Fine, click on search. You know now. Fine, on the thousand line, what happens? They click on it and they know what happens. They make a change on it. Go to more. In this place, I will now say what happens. Ship to quantity is going to be what nine hundred, and then give it up. The back order will be enabled. Nothing like that. Twenty five. Twenty five. So back order is twenty five. Nothing like that. So twenty five is the one thing that happens. So it will be twenty five. Nothing like that. So click on ship confirmation. The line will be getting split into three actions. The line will be getting split into three. <clears throat> so go there. You can now see. I will now make a search of this. Click on search. So you can now see that what happens. The line has already got split into three. Why the two hundred is not coming here? I don't know. Two twenty five is back ordered. Oh, yeah, very good, very good. So here we have a two twenty five as a back ordered. Out of which for two hundred we don't have any material at all. But twenty five we have material. Twenty five we have material, but for two hundred we don't have any material. And then this line is now staged actually. But without any shipper number, and we say that do not create a shipper number. That is how the manage ship confirmation parameter is now set. So what I do is, I, you know, we'll now go to the order now. Fine, go there. So nine hundred is now interface also. Fine, if you give a search now, fine, it'll be getting interface. The SSA will run, and then that will be getting interface. The nine hundred will be getting interface now. Fine, it's now interface. And then if you go to order line, whenever a line is interface from shipping entry, shipping execution to order entry, at that time the sales order line will split actually. You go there. Then at that time what happens? The sales order line because there is a billable line actually. So if you click on refresh now, fine, the line will be getting split into two. So if any billable line comes in, what happens? It will be getting split actually. Otherwise, it will not get split. So for nine hundred, it is very much possible actually. Why that other things is not coming? It will also come. You can expand the line, Nana. Ah ha ha. If you expand the line, I think probably it will not show the two twenty five also. Ah, it is not showing at all. Fine. So click on done and then come out of it. Now fine. It will not show that. But ah ha. In the main area, it's showing. In the main area. In the main one, it's showing. So here, what happens? You know, nine hundred is coming. So this nine hundred 
if you go and then see the orchestration process now right the and that you know that so this is a, what happens is the separate do number now whenever a billable line comes in what happens it will be having a different do now fine click on it this do will be different and then this do is different actually so this is not done fine if you go to the orchestration class what happens you go there so it is not shipped and then what happens it will be getting interface to what it will be awaiting billing actually we can't of course it will be going to awaiting billing now once when you run the what auto invoice import auto invoice that will be getting closed actually so this line will be getting is not shipped actually since the shipping execution is not shipped now or interfaced so once when the shipping execution is interfaced the order entry will now go to shipped only for 900 quantities actually only for 900 quantities and then finally it now once when the invoice is not gone it is going to awaiting billing so once when you run the order invoice import program the line gets closed but the second line will not be closed the second line will be still awaiting shipping only if you go there and see this number this will be awaiting shipping only so this 225 will be having a separate order number this 225 will be having a separate order number <clears throat> it will be having a separate order number okay. so it is not what happens it now schedule fine it is partially picked it is not coming the partial picking is what 200 as no item and then 25 as item with item fine. so we have two things mm -hmm. what is what 200 as no item and then 25 as with item all of them put together is now shown as 225 here now this is the place many people give a problem and they will not say i got a support ticket sir is back ordered so they have to dig dig deep and then see wh what are the constituents of this back order 25 we have an item and they are lying in inventory on the staging area 200 they don't have any item at all got it now fine no no sir if you ship now the 75 in the mini truck yeah. now it will create 900 75 and 225 in the uh, sales order correct no uh, yeah 900 75 and 225 i am going to do it after the break actually okay so for a break now fine at the after the break i am now going to ship this product and so the sales order will be having what three lines actually the sales order will be having three lines one for 900 one for 75 and then one for 225 actually is from 900 and 300 it will be having 900 75 plus 225 once when i ship the 200 not 75 no once when i ship the 75 what happens doing so we will not do it after the break actually any doubts on this now <clears throat> now that 25 where we have the item and yeah, 200 we see, yeah we are going to come to that there is a second variant actually so the oh. first variant is like this the second variant is what you are going to do with the 25 we will not see after the break actually thank you sir. 25 is the second variant and there is a very famous scenario of the shipping area now shipping area has got these famous scenarios actually because it happens so i will now go for a break and then come back and then i will now explain you about the 25 also so at 8 pm india i will be back actually fine it is now 7:45 here now fine so at 8 pm i will not be back 